about deciding on where you're going to run, where you're going to train, coach, etc.? No, I mean, now it, it, it all kind of kind of opens up now, and um, I'll try and figure that out soon. Um, but I haven't, you know, that's pretty unclear. I'm sure from uh, starting now the, the ball will be moving pretty quick, hopefully. Um, but nothing, uh, nothing's in stone. Some of your former teams decide to stay here, keep it going, what's, what's been working, and, uh, and Trevor, yeah. do you plan on doing something like that, or are you, thinking, are you up for doing something completely different, like going to a I'm, I'm up for anything. Um, you know, I, I think it's uh, it's not smart to, to, um, to not keep every door open, so. Um, I'm gonna, you know, I'm willing to talk to everyone and um, who wants to, and you know, we'll see. You know, it's it's just kind of a, I'm kind of in a, a space where I'm not, I'm unfamiliar with it. So, so we'll we'll see. Yeah. Obviously, the media after that 10K, there's a little, they, oh, it's Chez and Jenkins yeah, feuding. Beef. Yeah, <laughs> beef. Yeah, beef. Uh, Real beef. <laughs> what what was it like? What was the strategy going in? Was it? That last 200, were you waiting for Chess to go and try to get him back? How did you focus on trying to beat Chess? Um, I, I didn't want to be the first to move. Um, that that backstretch was pretty windy, so I felt like if I uh, if um, if you made the first move down that backstretch with like 300 to go, you're gonna end up paying for it. And also, um, I didn't want to. Uh, in indoors, I did a pretty good job, like taking it from far out, kind of stretching it. Um, but I didn't really, I didn't want to do that uh, today. So yeah, I guess, you know, I did think that um, I wanted to leave it to as late as possible. And with 200 go, I was like, yeah, I, I, I thought that I had, or not thought I had it, but I knew that I was, I was close. Um, and, you know, just that last 50, you know, I, I was uh, running out of steam. So Eric, we heard that uh, a bunch of the team leaders had a talk last night with the team, and uh, yeah. there was a good discussion there or whatever, but uh, what was that like? What did Coach Johnson tell you guys today? I mean, it's not, it's never, you know, today's not like a, a, a new territory. We kind of, everyone's kind of been in the situation, know what to do. It's really just go out there and do do what you're expected to do, do what you know you're capable of doing, and and you'll come home with uh, with the goal. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't I don't really know. I haven't um, I mean you obviously think about it a little bit, but I haven't I've been so focused on this meet that I haven't uh, I haven't really given any thought to it. So you know it's it's kind of you know an interesting situation but you know we'll see. Since, since, since joining Oregon uh, mo the past few years, most of your races have been against collegiate competition, yeah. kind of just racing to win. USA is different levels, going against the top guys from the U.S. How do you feel like you are a race mentally and just and fit to go up against top guys to try to get a top three spot? You know, I uh, I mean, it's obviously a whole new whole new level. Um, but, you know, I think um, it's going to be fun. I'm, I'm, I certainly don't, I don't hate my chances. Um, and depending on the race, you know, I feel like I'm definitely really fit, and uh, and I'm I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be fun. So top three, again, top three is on your mind. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, I think I never. You never want to go into a race not not at least get looking to to do what to win. I mean, I'm not even. Obviously, that's a that's a bold thing to say, but uh, you know, I uh, that's. I think that's a smart thing to do to go into a race.